so this is not going to be a week-long vlog it's going to be a weekend vlog aka um, it's just going to it's just going to capture my reading from Saturday and Sunday because this week was the week from hell I was working till like 12 1 2 in the morning this is even Saturday evening so this is not even a full 48 hour vlog because it's probably going to be like 36 hours because <laughs> I was working throughout today as well I've been working since I woke up at about 6 30 in the morning and right now the time is 5 48 p.m. so yeah I have a lot I have a lot to do i want to finish two books by the end of tomorrow and let's see if i can pull it off currently i am reading the magicians by lev grossman i'm on page 166 yes um as someone who watched the magician tv show and loved the show and that was one of the reasons why i wanted to read the book I would say that there's a marked difference from the book to the show. One, I cannot stand Quentin Coldwater in the book, which I find ironic because I couldn't stand him for, I think, the first two seasons in the show either. He grew on me later, so that's how I'm hoping that he becomes a better person in the books, but right now it's just annoying. I do like the depiction of depression, you know, and the way in which Leib Grossman was able to capture it in this book, but Quentin, being in Quentin's head is so annoying. Every time he meets a female character, he has to tell us that she's pale, he has to ascertain that she's pretty, and um, there's the occasional conversation about boobs. I'm just like, I don't like being in this boy's head especially if you're going to be describing the attractive features of people please be an equal opportunity admirer of good looks you know tell us that people are fine not just the girls are pretty the boys are fat this one has a mohawk etc that like he has this whiny undertone of a voice in this book that just grates on my nerves and like i said i guess another reason why i enjoyed the show so much was because we got other people's perspective not just quentin so we got elliot's perspective and margot's perspective of course we didn't really of course we didn't really get that much of that in season one but in later seasons yes we did um we got alice's perspective we got penny's perspective we got julia's perspective we even got some of katie's perspective this book has us focused on Quentin. We've been in Quentin's head for the past 166 pages and I'm just about to be like, please, can I move on to something else? But yeah, 166 pages. I want to see if I can finish it today, fingers crossed. But I'm also reading, also reading Gideon the Night by Tamsin Moore. Um, this is also for my house. This is for the arithmancy prompt. Yes, this is for the arithmancy prompt um, for us to read a book outside the genre we usually read. And so I picked up this sci-fi sci book and I'm currently on page... I just started it i'm on page 25 so nothing much has really happened um i've not even gotten to where i left off when i was reading it last year because i did start this last year i just couldn't finish it um so page 25 i want to see if i can finish these two books this weekend by the way magicians is my pick for abology it's a book that starts with the letter m so i want to see if i can finish these two books by like tomorrow night which would mean that this vlog will not be edited and uploaded until monday morning monday like monday evening apologies i just it's a crazy it's been a crazy work week next week is also going to be crazy but next week is the end of the house and i have only read two books yeah two books out of the 12 books i want to read for my house so i have between now and next week saturday i think saturday is the first of may isn't it oh my god it's not next week saturday next week friday friday is the first of may so i have between today and thursday to read 10 books it's going to be crazy but it's going to be a ride and i'm going to be taking you all with me finished hosting today's um one hour silent reading on quarantine pages and i picked up gideon the night by nakams in moya to read for it and so far i'm on page 56 it's been quite an interesting read one writing wise i would say that there's a style there's a way to which tamsin moya writes that is not given to me just being able to just 
rust run through like the reading process so um, usually in an hour I can read a little over 100 pages say maybe 120 on a good day um, but I'm just on page 56 because I have to take my time every word that times and more as written count I would also say that I do love the tone that times and more um, employ to write the story it is funny it is cheeky it's irreverent although there is a possibility that the cheeky irreverent funny tone is actually because we are currently getting the story from the perspective of Gideon Nav and she is a riot I find that very funny I find her very entertaining I find her hilarious and I'm living for all her attempts to escape it's a pity that she keeps failing every single time which leads to the fact that Gideon Nav my girl is not the brightest tool in the box in fact she's um I, I was like i said i was reading it for the hour um session on um, quarantine pages and when i was talking about it angela captured it perfectly and she was like oh gideon Nav just gives brings to mind like the stereotypical brown, all bronze no brains and she might be a little bit smart but she's yeah she's mostly all bronze because every damn time she keeps falling into the trap again i'm like gideon when would you ever learn but um i'm enjoying it i'm definitely having a blast i cannot wait to read i'm going to probably read one more chapter tonight and then pick up where i stopped with the magicians <laughs> It's almost three i ended up sleeping till about 10 30 this morning i was so exhausted um and i had breakfast i watched a couple of episodes of star trek the first star trek series and now i am reading the magicians again i'm currently on page 260 200 and what 225 so i'm on part two of this book it's slow going it's definitely not a book that i'm speeding through um for different reasons i think my problem is also the fact that you know with the show because i watch the show and i just find it a bit contradictory in some part and i'm trying to like pass together exactly how the story played out compared to the tv show um but so far so good i'm still kind of meh they finally moved out of the brick bills part of the book so i know that things will pick up based on the knowledge i have of the from the tv show um the writing wise it's still okay I, I just have a problem i think Lev grossman is fascinated with boobs and there's nothing wrong with that i'm fascinated with boobs it's just that there's just this way in which he writes quintin sometimes that it's just on the side of being a little bit sleazy like there's a scene where a girl is getting a demon a keko demon put into her back and um because she's surprised she turns and of course quintin makes note to tell us that they're able to catch a hint of a nipple and i'm like of course quentin you will notice the boob and then they're just like little things like alice's father's nazi salute i'm like did we really need to go there but sure um quentin and alice are still as self-absorbed as ever so i'm waiting for the character development and the growth hopefully we get it sometime soon so i took a nap <laughs> Shortly after I did my update, I took a nap and um, I slept for another four hours. I don't know, I've been sleeping a lot this last couple of days. I guess the last week has been very, very exhausting. But I'm still reading The Magicians. I'm on page 242. So, yeah, I have only about 160 pages left and I'll be done. It's just, I don't know. I just find it so boring or so slow going. I, I cannot than Queen's in cold water i think as at this book is a really shitty person yes is depressed but being depressed also does not mean that it should not does not give him the um the free way to be a shitty person you know i was initially thinking oh maybe it's just shitty for certain reasons but it's shitty to alice i just finished that um that situation that happened between him and Janet and elliot which i 
actually prefer the way in which it went down in the show because in the show it was written as them just you know losing their shit because they're drunk in this somewhere at the back of his mind he was aware of what he was doing so i just i think he's a shitty person i think he's a shitty boyfriend i think he's a shitty he's just a shitty person right now i hope he gets better because right now i'm just so fucking tired and penny's here and he's excited and ready to do stuff so i assume that the story is going to be picking up at this stage i'm just going to hope that the whole boredom thing had to do with them being at brick bills and then um also them just i don't know them now being outside of brick bills and trying to figure out what else is left of life i guess that's the interesting thing about the way in which lev grossman chose to tell the story because you know in harry potter there are so many magical careers that um the students and wizards and witches could just naturally go into but in this there are not that many options and they have unlimited powers so it's once again feeding into their sense of ennui and i just uh, they have the money and all of that i'm just right now i don't really like any of those characters and i'm hoping that it gets better in the later books so fingers crossed that that happens but well, i'm just meh at this point <laughs> I guess i'll probably title this vlog as i failed to finish two books in a weekend because yeah i didn't finish the magicians last night i did not finish gideon the ninth either i fell asleep again i think i should probably be worried but i'm not necessarily because i did note that um my mental health has been shitty since the lockdown commenced so i have been depressive sleeping i am still reading the magicians i'm currently on page 261 yeah me i have one more 140 more pages to go and i guess i'm going to wrap up this vlog um with this very important take quentin coldwater is an ass like absolute completely undisputed i just An award goes to someone who believes that a rational emotional response to I don't know being cheated on is women they cannot keep their minds on what is important and I'm just over here I'm like Alice girl you deserve better